Good morning. What is going on, YouTubers? I'm over here. Let me go and show you my surroundings. I'm in uh, Wat Onolom, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Still here. And uh, I just wanted to come into so the Wat, kind of take a look at it. I never really walked inside the, this particular uh, temple. But I'm looking for a nice, quiet place to do my little walk and talk. So I think maybe this is probably the best place that I know. So, let's go ahead and start it off with the uh, subject and topic of the day. Boy, I am uh, causing chaos over here online in Cambodia. I don't even know what the, the, the cause is, but uh, yeah, it's, it's making a lot of waves. And uh, so, I got this uh, message from Google saying that someone has tried to uh, hack into my uh, Gmail for YouTube and uh, that's the first I I never had any problems before I'm a very small youtuber very insignificant and now I got this uh, sensitive email from the Google team saying you're, uh, you need to change your password because somebody's trying to compromise your account. And, uh, okay, so let me go ahead and, and change it. And I was like, you know what? Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I went ahead and changed it. I know there's things that are causing a lot of uh, upheaval online right now with my uh, YouTube channel. And, uh, I, like I said, I, I didn't really think it's too much of a big deal until I uh, got another notification on my YouTube channel saying that um, I tried, I, I seen a comment and I tried to reply and uh, it said something about your account is pending because some people has uh, marked it as like uh, disinformation or spam or whatever it is. And so I'm like, wow, I can't even, I can't even do nothing with my own YouTube channel until they investigate, you know, what's going on. But I guess, you know, um, YouTube team, much shout out to the, the YouTube team. If I found out, you know, I was doing nothing wrong, no, uh, Spam, no bots, no whatever. So I guess they reinstated my account. But uh, I guess this is what I'm going through uh, all over. I mean, this is what I'm, I'm <laughs> going through. It's like, okay, people are trying to discredit me, you know, saying I put some fake narratives and bashing and all this other stuff. And uh, I only could say like maybe three or four words, you know, without causing any more trouble. China, Russia, and North Korea. That's all the three words I'm going to say. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So. <laughs> like I said, uh, I came over to Cambodia. To invest in properties and land. And to do it like a little tourism business. And uh, basically be like, you know, other YouTubers out there shooting content that the lovely Angkor Wat, the beaches of Kapot Kep, Sihanoukville, smiling and laughing and, you know, showing the beauty of Cambodia. That was the whole plan, you know, get my little tuk-tuk make a little bit of content on YouTube you know just basically live a peaceful carefree life and uh, 
pretty much everything uh, changed. <laughs> everything did a 180, you know. And uh, so it's, instead of trying to like telling my positive experiences that I had in Cambodia, I started uploading my real experiences, you know, in the country about land deals that, you know, you could possibly get scammed, ATM that give out fake money, trash on the streets. And uh, there's nothing, there's nothing I'm saying that is completely uh, false or fake news, but they don't like that narrative online. And so the best thing they could do is try to go ahead and discredit me publicly online, uh, basically harass, bully or whatever it is, you know, to have me change. And uh, I, like I said, I don't know, it kind of sometimes I wake up early, not because I want to, I don't have to. It's like when they try to silence you, it adds more fuel to your passion of like, you know what, um, this is this is not right, you know. I'm not saying anything bad, I'm not saying fake stuff. I'm just giving out my point of view, my perspective, my experiences, and they are trying to silence me. And so like like I said, that's why I, it just like, man, I gotta go ahead and put more videos out there and push, you know, more content and things like that. But at the same time too, I gotta go ahead and kinda know where I'm at. You know, I got to draw the line like, okay, this is how far I'm willing to go and I'm not going to go any further. And so we got two sides of the, of, 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 uh, two sides of the people that watch my video. Like, wow, one side, they loving it. They know it's real. They support it. La, la, la. And we got the other side that bash, bashes me. You know, you're wrong. Fake news. Uh, you're ashamed to uh, come out of society, and uh, so I gotta, I gotta be like, I gotta play the the middle card because you know a lot of a lot of the videos and stuff like that. You know, I'm out here and out and about in Cambodia by myself, middle of the night, not worried, not giving the care, you know, not giving the care. But if you could tell, I'm real easy to spot. <laughs> In Cambodia, <laughs> I stand out like a sore thumb between uh, from the locals. So, like I said, there's things where I speak, and I have to go ahead and know where I'm at. You know, I I have to know my place in line. I'm I'm just a small little YouTuber. Right now, I'm so happy that I'm ready to fly out of Cambodia to go to USA because I'm pretty much flat broke. You know, no more money. And uh, you know what happens when people, when you run out of money in Cambodia? Not even a dog is gonna be your friend. So right now I'm kind of eating decent, you know, having time to do this, do that. But once the money runs out, the guest house say isn't gonna be friendly to me no more. <laughs> the, the noodle shop that I eat isn't gonna smile no more or not even let me in. That's just the reality of how life is. No money no honey and uh well that's why i wanted to go ahead and share with my audience uh today is like you know what i guess i'm pretty much on the list you know of being a troublemaker they doing everything they can to kind of try to block my youtube account or whatever other social media or whatever um uh, media that i have so it's not just like a one person type of deal. It's, it's a whole team that's trying to discredit me. And uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I, I already got my plane ticket and I'm ready to go ahead and go back to the USA, go on with life. You know, I'm, the main thing, like I said to everybody, I'm not here to change anybody. I just came to live my own experiences share my experiences with the people and this is the first time that i'm inside this what
and uh, I'm best. I'm, I'm trying my best to go ahead and learn the Buddhism way of life. You know, and like I said, this is why I keep coming back to Cambodia. I want to learn my roots, but at the same time too, I don't want a false narrative of my roots. You know, give it to me fair. Give it to me real. Don't, you know, don't lie. There's, there's nothing like, uh, and uh, the reason why I can go ahead and go to sleep at night and not have no worries is because I know deep down inside, whatever I'm telling people is my experience and is nothing but the truth. So, like I said, I keep on wondering, it's like, my, you know, my channel is very, very small. I'm a nobody in Cambodia. Um, so it's just, I, like I said, I, under, I kind of understand what they, you know, what they want to do. You know, better go ahead and get rid of the, uh, the, the troublesome than to have the, uh, have the fuel, fl uh, you know, have the, add more fuel to the flame. Just silence the critic and uh like i said i like i said i have no i have no idea i'm going walking about doing some more tour videos of cambodia um i would definitely stay longer but money rules so i don't have any uh can't keep on going without the money so i gotta know my place like you know what i gotta i gotta go do the work and do this and do that you can't really fight a war being broke and that's just it you need to have ammunition you need to have money to go ahead and fight for your cause and uh, at this moment there's no more money for me there's 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 no money so Well, this is another first for me uh, in uh, Cambodian Phnom Penh. I actually went inside the uh, monastery, Wat Onolom, and you like if you know that the land that the temple is on is like one of the most valuable real estates in Phnom Penh, in Cambodia, and Pretty much anybody can go inside and you know feel free you know and you could be dirt poor you could be dirt rich and you could still freely walk into the temple and that's the whole benefit of having uh the what all over cambodia because on certain uh occasions the people provide food to anybody whether you have money or you don't, it's like a it's like an offering, you know, doing your good deeds. Uh, people that don't have money, families and stuff like that, they go to the temple and get the meal, and that's the way that society should be. I mean, that's the way that Khmer people should be. They should be helping each other instead of trying to push each other down. But like I said, I mean, <laughs> what I'm saying is is they're thinking it's negativity. It's it's uh false uh narrative and uh like i said for me i'm not gonna go against the i'm not gonna go against the wave I'm, i know i'm very insignificant small if i could help out 20 30 40 people a year without getting scammed or needing some advice then i think i did my part that's it i'm not i'm not here to save thousands and millions of people or try to change the country too small so that's uh if you guys want to know what's going on that's what's happening that's what i'm fighting and uh we'll see what happens i mean <laughs> we'll see what happens uh from there on so let's go ahead and go do a walk
and I just wanted to go ahead and put it out there also. You see my videos is just basically a point and shoot and upload. I don't have the software, I don't have the tools, the laptop to go ahead and do some fancy thumbnails to attract attention, whatever like that. So most of the time, I just go ahead and go Google whatever picture idea that I'm trying to put onto my thumbnail and just upload it. So, you know, if so if you think like I'm trying to manip manipulate or whatever it is story uh, on the thumbnail, it's like, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing the easiest thing that's possible. I'm just Googling images and put it onto my thumbnail. I don't have the expertise or the equipment to do all the professional editing 